31 year old female was diagnosed with acute appendicitis 11 mm in diameter she underwent laparoscopic appendicectomy under our team care the procedure was uneventful meso appendix divided by using bipolar energy the appendicular stump doubly ligated with cat gut loops and divided as standard routinely done the patient was discharged on post op day 2 stable condition uneventful hospital course on day 5 she admitted in emergency with sudden onset of upper abdominal severe abdominal pain tachycardia hypotension she was admitted in icu resuscitation done and started on evaluation what is the reason on a blood test wbc count was raised x ray showing gas under diaphragm but in early post op it is not that significant ct suggestive of contrast leaks from appendicular stump in right atelic fossa with collection and free fluid in between the bowel loop we have planned for diagnostic lab she has been after stabilizing taken into the ot there is a omental and uh, periappendicular fat pads adhesions Uh, it has been clumped up to seal the perforated area we just try to do gentle hydro dissection in right iliac fossa to reach to the base of the cecum as diagnosis was very clear from ct that there is leak from the stump we can appreciate that unhealthy uh, fat uh, probably slubbed off necros area at the a uh, base of the cecum periappendicular fat pad was tried to gently separate out uh, from that i think natural body immunity has been trying to seal off but it was uh, having uh, might be large hole it is not getting sealed minor could have been definitely sealed off surprisingly this patient till 5 day she was doing absolutely okay uh, and fifth day she landed with uh, emergency uh, peritonitis severe abdominal pain we can appreciate that we have reached to the base of the, the appendix and this appendix has been slubbed off completely 180 degree and half circumference has been completely slubbed up this might be a two three reason we retrospectively analyze from our side we felt that this might be one tight a uh, not a tight looping uh, of the cat gut might be a reason second there might be a thermal injury uh, of the uh, m- 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 energy source which might have been caused or third per se pathology which has been uh, having acute edematous appendix something that might be a possible cause so we removed rest of the stump and uh, taken sent for histopath to reevaluate we can appreciate that we are trying to take a pds20 and trying to suture the stump as the tissue was healthy and suture were holding we have planned closure of the stump by using the pds we are able to go in from one side go out from another side so that we can reinforce in such a way that she should not land again into a trouble so complete stump sutured as a suture closure of the stump was done we have done thorough lavage as she has uh, came to us with peritonitis should not have any another issue because of remnant of the fluid surprisingly she had one episode of severe abdominal pain that might be a some amount of uh, uh, chemical irritant came out of the base of the cecum and after that nothing major periappendicular fat pad taken to buttress over the stump area
and the procedure completed and we place the uh, drain in the right leg fossa for post operative to see if any collection was there we were lucky to tackle this patient in early phase and thankful ct has given clear diagnosis patient recovered well post operatively she was discharged on day 3 after re laparoscopy and drain was removed on day 5 she remained asymptomatic in our case we thought that it might be a thermal injury led to this issue might be tight looping might have caused the necrosis that have been compounded by friable inflamed tissue rapid degradation of the cat gut and leading to delayed stump leak might be a possible i think everyone can comment and let us know what can have been an issue which has led to such a disastrous complication in our case uh, appendix may look simple but even routine laparoscopic appendectomy can lead to life threatening stump leaks never underestimate uh, any pathology as a surgeon always need to be respected for the procedure and also if we operate we should be prepared to manage if the complication comes we don't know which patient can come with what kind of trouble in post op thank you for watching we uh, expect comment and criticism from your side and please let us know what you do to avoid such disaster in your post op if at all such disaster land what is your plan to manage such cases put in the comment or let us know